Morning, Georgia. Hi. Good morning, down here at the least block. Uh, yeah, pretty miserable day, just easterly, drizzly, overcast. Uh, yesterday we managed to get all the hay baled, so I'll throw some drone footage in here. Um, we got four paddocks at the least block done and two paddocks at home. The ones at home weren't, yeah, they were there or thereabouts. Um, but yeah, they might just sweat in the bale a wee bit. And, uh, but the ones at the least block here are mint. So they're getting sold to a dairy farmer over Hyrada way, hopefully. That's still the plan, but yeah. Hey at home, this is chicory uh, red clover, white clover paddock with a bit of Italian in it. So, yeah, just rowing two into one, just try and tip it all over, get it to get it to dry out. Meant to have some rain tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, so hopefully we can get it dry. As long as we're moving, moving everything, yeah, a fair bit of Italian seed on the ground. That'll be good, that'll, uh, that'll grow and germinate, fill in any of the gaps. Just hope the weather plays ball for the next week. No, hay bales. Uh. These lambs are getting sold to the same guy who bought the last lot from down here at the lease block. So we've drafted the lambs out. These ones down here are the black faces and the male or the crypt orchid white faces. Those ones at the back, we drafted them three ways. So they are the ewe lambs, replacement ewe lambs that'll end up going home. Um, and then of course these are the ewes. So the plan here is to run Black faces through the race wall here, we've got it all set up. And we're gonna draft 25 kilos and above. So they're gonna go store. We need 100 to send to him. And then anything left, we'll just put them with the ewe lambs, they'll go home. 
and, and on some good tucker uh, at home. And then we're going to run all these girls through and crutch them up because we're just starting to get a wee bit of fly strike. Uh, this time of year, moisture, sun, warm weather, flies are hanging around. Yeah, the joys of sheep farming. So, right, we'll get into this weighing and uh, run these through. Ready for work? No? Yes. Yeah. Right, we've got our lines drafted up. So these are the store lambs. Average 32 kilos, something like that here. They'll lose a wee bit before the truck weighed. Um, so we're just gonna crutch these ones up. These are the small ones and a few ewe lambs. Yeah, so they'll, they'll, those ones and those ones will end up going home. Those are the ones I've still got to crutch. So got a couple of hours before the truck comes. Gina's just gonna shoot off to the pie shop, bakery in Oxford and get us a coffee and a muffin or something. And uh, we will just continue to start to um, crutch these ones up. So we've got 115 lambs all crutched and away. Fru's taking them, they're going to truck weigh them at the yard and then off to Callum's. Uh, yeah, so it's good. I think there's 90 ewe lambs here. So we're just going to shoot home, have some lunch, grab the trailer, some drench, and then come back here. We'll drench them in these yards, put them on a trailer, take them home, jump them straight off into a paddock. Um, so at least I won't have the issue of mustering newly weaned lambs across the road. Um, roads are pretty busy at the moment being summer holidays and stuff so had the kids helping this morning so Georgia and Millie uh, big thanks to them they did an amazing job really coming into their own uh, what are they nine and twelve so really becoming quite helpful and then don't need these noisy buggers as much hey here you you big critter right we're going to have some lunch and uh, we'll see you back here shortly Forty lambs on there, off for a second trip back home, and two two split mobs, uh, split lines left. It's another load after this one. So they would be going into that paddock just there, which had the kettle in it, and then we topped it. So beautiful, um, what's that, tall fescue coming away with a bit of clover. And yeah, because it's had cattle, worms will be different than sheep worms. Um, but because we've just drenched these guys, we're just gonna leave them in this holding paddock here, around the hay barn overnight, let them empty out, let the drench do its thing. So when they go in there, hopefully, all going well, they'll be clean. Right. Uh, third and final load. So I've got to get these ewes in now uh, and start crutching them. And we've got a few lambs that have jumped in there. These yards aren't very high, so our Perindale Kelso cross kind of lambs just <laughs> jump around a fair bit. So we'll get them in, get those lambs out, and then we'll start crutching some ewes up. Oh, 
raining pretty heavily now, or just steady, but we're here crutching these ewes. Some of them have been on a good wicket, so we've got a fair few dags. Um, so we're just tidying them up before the fly strikes. So this is perfect fly weather, wet, warm. Um, yeah, perfect combination there. So we'll, uh, we'll tidy her up. I don't know if you guys can see. Who can I put you to see? There you go, much better, nice and tidy, and uh, here we go. So just to here, you can go back and go back. That'll do, just about, just only this far, for now. Another one, and we'll just carry on. Right, so I don't know if you can see this, but down in there, it's just some maggots. It's just a wee bit of fly strike, it's just started. It's hardly even got into the skin yet, so. We've crutched her up, we've got our Mago mix here, chuck some of that on, there we go, she'll be good as gold now. And then yeah, these are due to get dipped in a couple of weeks, or in a week's time once we get uh, some other stuff sorted out, we'll bring a dip down here, run them all through, then they'll be all sweet for the summer. Right dogs, dinner time? Yeah, I think so. So I got two, well, two races done, crutching ewes, and then the battery went dead. I didn't have the cord to connect it up to like the ute battery, uh, or the battery I used to run the race wall. But I've since found that. I was gonna make another one, but um, yeah. So tomorrow we'll get them all done, even if the little handpiece, uh, the battery one hit, sits on your hip, runs out, then we can just connect it up, and uh, hopefully I'll have some help. The girls as well, tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we might leave this video here. That's end of the day and I'm wet and cold and sick of it. So feed these guys, go inside and uh, call it a day. So thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. One we fourth. Yeah, old fella. Yeah, we will. Bye. Yuffie, you're a bit grubby. Yeah.